Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, this is Broswals here with Sylviacraft, uh, bring you another spotlight for how to feed the beast or processing. As you know, in Feed the Beast, there's a lot of machines and sorts of things that will help you get more ingots per ore, um, as opposed to the vanilla, where you just get one to one ratio when you smelt. But uh, there's some things that will give you uh, one to two, one to two, one to three, and one to, like, even more maybe sometimes, some percent chance. Um, yeah, let's, let's see, let's jump right in. So we'll start with thermal expansion. The way you do that is, uh, there's three different things you can do. You can dab double your output by using the pulverizer for, uh, most ores that have, that can be pulverized. You can check the recipes here by clicking the, uh, little arrow to show you the recipes. But, uh, also an interesting thing you'll find is, um, sometimes there's a percent chance of you obtaining things like... Let me show you. Like, see, when you're when you're uh, pulverizing iron, you have a 10% chance of gra uh, creating a nickel dust, and you get two iron dust, of course. After which, you have to smelt in a powered furnace, just like that. And see, we have a nickel. Huh. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I said that. Oh. <laughs> then, the induction smelter. This baby uses sand uh, to create... Like double output. Unfortunately, there will not be a 10% chance of creating another ore. There will be, uh, on the other hand, though, a chance of obtaining slag. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Oh, wait, no. Yes, if you use sand, you can create slag. You have 5% creating rich slag, which you can use in another uh, induction smelter to create. Three ingots per ore. Yeah. Triple your output. Just have have a party. But you need a lot of this. And so you can... A smart way to do this is if you like having lots of gold. Because lots of mods use gold. And you want to make sure you have more of that. You can smelt all your other ores with sand. And get a bunch of 5% um, chance of getting your uh, rich slag. You can do that. And then triple your ore output for uh, for gold. And do that sort of thing. This is, this is this is thermal expansion. It uses Minecraft jewels. Just, you know, use some engines, steam boiler, whatever your your heart desires. Then the one of the very first uh, methods of uh, doing this and making more ore per uh, making more ingot per ore, ore was uh, industrial craft with the macerator. Uh, in real life it's much slower, but since I added the overclocker upgrade, it uses a lot more power and it use it's more efficient, so that's that's good stuff. Um, after this process here, it's pulled out into this electric furnace, which is also overclocked. And uh, as you can see here, uh, four four have been processed, and there's eight total that have been like created out of those four. So that's good stuff. Uh, let's turn back to daytime. This is kind of annoying. Takes a while, but the rewards are awesome. So first off, you need power for factorization, which you can get with the steam boiler stuff, which which kind of requires a lot of silver. And I I don't know. It's scary, scary to me. First, what you need to do is connect things to the battery. Then you need to use this grinder that uses diamonds to grind things like ore into dirty. Uh, gravel, which gives you two per ore, which is already good. You can just smelt that up and have a party. Um, after that, this is going to go into here with a bucket of water, which I don't have. I can't demonstrate it because it takes too long. I have, I'll show you the output. Then after that, it will travel. It needs to travel. Oh, hold on, let me get a bucket of water, actually. Water. Because it's going a little faster than I thought. So, water. After it mixes with the water in the mixer, you need to put it through through um, a slag furnace. Where after the mixer becomes uh, clean iron gravel, you need to put some coal in there or a furnace heater, which is this block next to this, to uh, heat this up. And after you do that, it will create this next thing called. I think it's still traveling. 
My apologies, audience. I was rudely interrupted by someone who asked me to sign a birthday card. I simply could not deny the signing of a birthday card. So, after your um, gravel chunks of whatever ore get processed, they'll become reduced iron chunks or reduced copper chunks and whatever other material you're trying to reduce and produce. <laughs> Um, you will get some of this stuff, and you need to put this in a block called the Crystallizer, and you need to combine it with some Aqua Regia, which is really simple to make, and you can reuse this as much as you want. Also, this is the recipe for sulfuric acid. You can use this uh, as much, many times as you want, it's not consumed in the reaction, and, um, also, you'll, you'll be able to make uh, crystallized iron, which you can then smelt into more stuff. Uh, but, very important thing is if you place them in different places here, as opposed to all in the same square, you are going to get more output. So, yeah. Do that. Extra copies of this can be added to other slots for increased yield. To increase yield. There you go. <clears throat> so it also needs a furnace here, and you need to power the furnace here with the battery, which is powered by steam boilers and stuff like that. Then after all this is all good and complete, you can drop your things into a regular furnace or any kind of furnace you want, and it will make you, like, ingots. <laughs> also, this furnace does not require no coal because it's a strong independent furnace and don't need no man. I'm kidding, no. <laughs> no, it is a powered by this furnace heater. Alright, I'm a jokester. Then, next, we move on to... Oh, by the way, this is factorization, if you didn't know. Uh, is this still going? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I should... Oh, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Doubled. I just don't have any buckets in there. This takes a long time. Next, we'll skip on to Railcraft. Railcraft has this thing called the Rock Crusher. It's pretty cool. It's, um, it uses MJ as well. You can see here, I have one of these guys here. What was oh, it crushes the rocks. Do you hear that sound? That is a sexy sound. I love that sound. Also, you can place many things in here, so what if I do this? It only does this one at a time. doesn't do all the slots at once. That'd be cool if it did, though. Never mind that, then. Just a theory I had to test. So, crushes the rocks very audibly. You can, you can hear it and be terrified. And you just need to drop it into some other furnace and, uh, whatever, man. It'll make you some iron, uh, whatever other thing you're making. It'll spill into ingots. And also the ore, the output here is, is uh, one, two. Also, with this block, you can create already made ingots into dusts. And you can do all sorts of, what? Nether pig iron ore. You can do all sorts of other things by, basically, other maceration recipes. You can do that here. You can even break down some blocks into their original parts. Some of them have a chance of making more. Some of them have... See, with this, you have 10% of making vines. Pretty cool. 10% of getting flint back. It's cool. That's, what? Gravel can be turned to less than 1% chance of diamond. You have several of, di of, of gravel. This is the way to go. You should do that. If you want lots of sand, make a rock crusher. Now, let's skip on to... Thermal ex no, not thermal expansion. Tinker's construct. Drop some stuff into the smeltery. You need to make sure you have lava. There should be a lava bar here, but maybe there's a bug or a glitch. And um, you need to wait for this to heat up. And once it does heat up, you are gonna have a bunch of. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Didn't want to fall in. These are ghost blocks, as you can see. You can't just you can't just walk over them. Now that all this stuff has been smelted down into molten versions of the uh, metals, you can uh, easily make them into ingots by pouring them into an ingot mold. Let's see the solidify. You can take it out and ingot cast. I'm sorry, not a mold. And uh, just, just do that. And this will also double your, your output, by the way. So there's, there's how many holes in there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three by one, two, three, four, five, six. It's 18. And we put 18 ores in here, and it creates uh, 36. Another thing you can do is you can pour whole blocks. So a block of iron will be cast in this casting basin. It's pretty cool. Also, uh, let's see. Um, 
hopper. If you would like to automate this process, you can also do this. The hopper will pull stuff out and put it into an inventory or a pipe if you want to, but there wasn't a pipe in that case. <laughs> or you can just click it and it'll take stuff out. Also, you can put things in here as items and they'll look cool. Look at that. And you can't pour things in there. Anywho, let's carry on <laughs> with other things and let's stop that obnoxious rock smasher, rock crusher, because it is making quite a ruckus. Alright. Next, we'll proceed to the mine factory reloaded item called the Rock Smasher. I think I made a place backwards so you can't see the front. Oh, it's all the same. Never mind. It requires mob essence. Um, and requires energy, either uh, MJs or EU. Or KJ, I guess, but we're not playing with uh, Fit the Beast, that's not a thing. You can use any enchants you have, for like fortune, a fortune. You can use any level, and it will take your whole blocks, like coal or diamond or redstone, and it will break them into more. As you can see here, out of four, we got ten. Uh, this would be what the effects you would get from a, a pick with fortune three. You can turn it down to fortune two. That way, it will take less energy, and it will take up less essence. Uh, let's see this. One even less energy and tiny amounts of essence and that doesn't really do much so three will uh, use fortune three on these on these blocks and give you the output pretty cool stuff next the industrial grinder from greg tech so some of you might not be using greg tech if you're on unleashed this is unleashed with greg tech i do a let's play on it there's a link in the comments to how to get that so it's pretty cool unleashed with greg tech there's a config file so this guy uh, tells you a bunch of recipes on how to smelt, uh, not, not smelt, process ore. For example, let's get to an actual ore that's not from the nether. My gosh. All right. Like a real ore, not the whole tetrahyde, whatever, Greg Tech, like a default. My, my, this is, okay. No. Should have gotten the other way. All right, all right. So let's just say, what is this copper ore? Copper ore. You can create two copper like normal with doubling your output, and you create tiny pile of gold dust and tiny pile of nickel. You can do other things like if you add sodium per sulfate, you can get three and you can get the same out of this. And with mercury, you can get a whole gold ingot, gold. Well, dust, but you can turn to an ingot. So it's pretty cool. You can use uh, sodium per sulfate and uh, mercu mer mercury or water to see, to like make output better for you, make it work better for you. It's not for all the things. For example, for lead, there is not a mercury per sulfate option, but there still is a merc. Uh, there's not a sodium per sulfate option. There's a mercury option, though, to increase your output. So yeah, go to town with that. This, this scary to build though because it's correct tech and everything correct tech is scary now pickaxe of the core just a default pickaxe of the core let's see what it does let's see what it gives us oh what is this what is this item that we picked up this is native go lead cluster you can smelt this into uh lead and it will give you two not one but two ingots so that's pretty cool because yeah you see here two uh, because even if you mine these up, you can still place them down again and mine it with this until you get enough of this. So it's a pretty cool like little exploit, I suppose, if you want to call it that. And all this stuff, all that junk, you can use that to make more of what you need. Process more. Let's empty the inventory. Next, we have the Tinker's Construct. This is from Thumbcraft, by the way. I didn't know. Tinker's Construct, um, Auto Smelt, Luck, and Durability, and Fortune 3. What this does, oh, Durability is not essential, but I just added it on because I wanted to. <laughs> so, this smelts your things right away, but since it has Luck on it, it'll produce more. And Fortune also, I guess that's part of Luck. Anyway, so here it made 2 gold, here it made 3, here it made 2, here it made 3, 
and I only mined one of each. So it's a pretty cool way to make more and to smell right away. So this is pretty good for processing if you if you're bad that life. But it's still a little bit up to chance because sometimes see you get only one one of those. So it works. Oh no, still works. It's it's all all the same. But sometimes it's a bit of a gamble. Like there's a lot more. There's more uh, lead than like tin. So gotta gotta be watchful for that. A sure surefire way is to like most efficient. Because one of those that uses gives you three. And then finally for Darkcraft, the mod that people think is OP sometimes, this will always give you two. Because this one has the certain aspects on it. Certain really simple to add enchants on it, pretty much. Well, let me finish this this part. For some reason, it gave me three. Oh, okay. Five. Weird. So, this has a heat heat pickaxe, and it has grinding. And to do that, all you need to add to a tier two, and only a tier two tome, is um, coal and a piece of gravel and just some power. Like, a very mil minimal amount of power. So, that's all you need to double your ore put and auto smelt it as you do it. Um, yeah, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching my tutorial on how to feed the beast or processing. Uh, hope you join us next time. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends and your grandma. Have a nice day. It's Bros Wallace signing off.